And on screen, that is a view uh, from the International Space Station. That is Suichi Noguchi suiting up. He and Shannon Walker will go ahead and suit up outside. Uh, and that's Aki Hoshide next to him. That's the new space station commander. Uh, command was transferred over to him from Shannon Walker, who's also departing today. Uh, and Walker will have probably already suited up at this point. So as we wait, uh, we can see a lot of astronauts uh, continuing to help Soichi. It uh, looks like they're taking photos. Uh, you'll, you'll notice a lot of picture taking throughout this process. Uh, a lot of those are sent to ground to uh, help inspect uh, seals or potential um, fod that may be in hatches. But it looks like uh, he is going up into the zenith port. And uh, in that space where another astronaut is going right now, that is where the Dragon capsule uh, that will depart today is currently parked. And that is Suichi going through the APAS hatch and the vestibule into Dragon. We've got some cargo stowage right there as well. Love getting those final photos with your crew members in space. The next time they'll all see each other uh, is when those crew members return to Earth as well. So. I think it could probably be kind of hard to leave your friends after spending almost six months on board with them. And there's NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough, who just arrived a week ago on the Crew 2 mission. He's helping them complete their checks uh, ahead of hatch closure and undocking today. And also part of the Crew 2 astronaut does Thomas Pesquet uh, with his hand on the blue rail. He's also going in to see if he can help as well. Heske also arrived a week ago, and he was the first European Space Agency astronaut to fly on board Crew Dragon. Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover, you can see inside the capsule getting our first look of the day inside Crew Dragon Resilience. Victor Glover there at the top of your screen. He and Hopkins will suit up shortly. Looks like they might be getting some final pictures. <laughs> so the hands that you see closest to your screen, that is uh, from astronaut Shannon Walker. Again, the mission specialists don their suits before ingressing. Commander Mike Hopkins and pilot Victor Glover will don their suits after hatch closure. And it looks like uh, they were just doing just that, closing that, that forward hatch. So what um, Mike and Victor are wearing are, are essentially comfort garments. Uh, it's like athletic wear that they will wear underneath their suit. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, all hooks open and nominal. And copies, we see separation. Mike Hopkins there confirming what you're seeing on the screen. Dragon moving away from the Agent International Spaces. Space Station. Dragon separation visually confirmed. And SpaceX concurs. That and uh, docking taking place at 7.35 p.m. Central Time, 5.35 p.m. Pacific, while the station and Dragon were 260 miles above Mali. That wraps up Crew One's stay on the International Space Station, begun in November, and puts them on Dragon a path. SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn zero complete, nominal burn. Advanced copies, we see the same. And confirmation there of the first of several good burns taking place. Again, there are two undocking burns that uh, occur almost back to back, and those will be followed by departure burn zero. That's the first of four departure burns known as, uh, again, departure burn zero. 
the short firing of the Draco of the uh, Dragon's Draco thrusters, lasting 16 seconds and increasing the Dragon's speed by just under half a mile. That gets Dragon flying away from the space station and sends it on a trajectory that will take it up and around the space station. Have a safe trip back home and the soft landings. Station farm resilient. Thanks for your hospitality. Sorry we stayed a little bit longer. We'll see you back on Earth. Be back in a couple of months. This is another view of Dragon. Getting a little bit of light. Again, you can see the windows uh, right above the red and green lights. This is a cool picture of Dragon. You can see the capsule down toward the bottom of your screen and then the trunk near the top. Uh, and on the trunk on the white side, that's the radiator. It helps radiate heat. And I love this glow right now. The sun is uh, coming up on the space station and onto Crew Dragon. Wow, that is cool. This view inside Crew Dragon Resilience looks like Victor Glover's in the background over there getting a bite to eat. And uh, it looks like we have people in the seats, but not quite. Those are just the suits. <laughs> I had to take a second look because I thought that <laughs> they were also in the suits as well. Um, they are uh, hooked up to the umbilicals and were drying. And uh, we got confirmation a few minutes ago that the drying has been complete. But yes, I, had to t I took a, a quick second because one of them uh, had the visors down. Um, uh, I saw, or maybe it was the backdrop of the the, the, the back of the helmet, but uh, yes. the suits are in place. There's no one in them right now. The crew is, um, uh, looks like they are uh, chatting about and or are getting ready for the next departure burn. Uh, and now we have views of the interior, uh, interior of crew one. Um, we just saw Mike Hopkins, the commander, and to uh, his side is uh, Victor Glover, to his right-hand side. In front of them, those are those three touchscreen displays that allow them to monitor the status of the vehicle, where they are in orbit, uh, and the next steps coming up during this process of their return to Earth. And then on the left, you can see Shannon Walker there relaxing in her seat. And the far right is Soichi Noguchi, JAXA astronaut. These four crew members uh, scheduled to splash down in just about two and a half hours. Looking forward to uh, welcoming them home after six months aboard the International Space Station. And the team uh, recently uh, donned those suits in about 15 minutes here. They're going to perform suit leak checks. They will um, uh, close their visors and make sure that there are no leaks in the suits. Uh, in case of a depressurization event, uh, the suits do inflate and provide a, some level of protection and a habitable environment for the astronauts. Again, these suits are custom made for each of the astronauts and designed in-house here at SpaceX. They are a one-piece suit. Everything is integrated. The helmets, the gloves, the boots uh, are all part of that one-piece suit. And the, the astronauts really just climb in and start zipping things up. The helmet itself is made of 3D printed nylon. And that white material um, on the exterior is bleached Teflon. And there are, there are also some gray um, pads as well, and that is Nomex, which is related to nylon, but it has a couple of different properties, um, um, some chemical resistance as well as temperature resistance. This view right now is from the Inter International Space Station. That white dot in the center of your screen is the Dragon capsule, the, um, and the crew is inside there, and uh, we're continuing to adjust the cameras. Uh, but it continues to make its way back towards Earth but yes, yeah, just an amazing view for for us to get to see this image of Crew Dragon still in space, counting down to that uh, beginning of re-entry. It all happens very fast once that begins. And this view from our WB-57 aircraft with uh, its thermal imaging cameras, we will be looking for uh, the 
Crew Dragon to come into view. And there you can see it in the entry of Earth's atmosphere, Crew Dragon continuing its journey home. Oh, and that is uh, just a fantastic shot. That is the dragon re-entering the Earth's atmosphere as it uh, leaves that trail behind. Um, and then again, that, that, that illumination is from all of that heat um, uh, that is building up uh, due to friction of just the re-entry speeds of Dragon when it meets the Earth's atmosphere. And that view coming from the boat, Go Navigator. Crew Dragon continuing, as you said, into to enter Earth's atmosphere. So uh, having these two views right now with it being a, uh, a nighttime splashdown, pretty exciting that we're getting uh, two, two good views upon reentry into Earth's atmosphere. So we are waiting for confirmation that the drogue chutes have deployed. We are expecting them to deploy uh, any minute now. And it looks like those might be our drogue chutes. Visual two chutes. SpaceX from Resilience, we show good drogues. SpaceX copies and concurs nominal descent right on two drogues. Uh, continuing to hear good news after good news. Uh, two drogue chutes have deployed. Everything looks nominal, and we're slowing the Dragon vehicle down. We are expecting the four main chutes to deploy uh, within the next minute. And those four drogue chutes. Oh, you can see them being pulled out now. Visual on four mains. And resilience copies, and we see a nominal descent rate. SpaceX copies and concur concurs nominal descent rate. And this view coming from the WB-57, very clear image of those four main parachutes slowing the vehicle down to what will be about 16 miles per hour prior to splashdown just off the coast of Panama City, Florida. If it were daylight, we would have an image of those meters. four beautiful parachutes being orange and white and still getting these incredible views, even though we are in a nighttime splashdown. And what a view we have here, even though it's nighttime, uh, we have some great visuals uh, of Dragon there with his four main chutes deployed, uh, slowly coming back to Earth. And SpaceX, we show nominal descent rates, 200 meters, brace for splashdown. SpaceX copies, brace for splashdown. And there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. I don't know if you can hear the applause. But we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 resilience capsule. From resilience. That is excellent news. We are splashed down. We sh the pyros have fired. We're water fighting. SpaceX copies and concurs. We do she main cut as well. So this was the primary site that we landed on uh, off the coast of Panama City in Florida. We did have an alternate site off the coast of Tampa. Um, there was an equivalent amount of uh, personnel and uh, hardware and ships ready to uh, perform the same type of recovery operations in the event that Dragon had to uh, choose that site over the primary one. But things continuing to go smooth. 
And we did get a report that the crew is feeling well inside the capsule, just what we wanted to hear. Of course, they will still have that private medical conference and they will still receive medical checkouts once they arrive on Go Navigator. But um, amazing preliminary news uh, that the crew reports that they are feeling well. And, and that's quite a feat in itself to be feeling well after six months in microgravity uh, and to return to gravity. So uh, great news all around tonight with the return of Crew Dragon Resilience. It's quite surreal uh, that about seven hours ago, this capsule uh, was traveling at over... And a dragon standby for side hatch opening and egress. Okay, Solo, we are standing by. Hey, and uh, while I'm thinking about it, uh, Solo for SpaceX and the NASA teams, on behalf of uh, Crew-1 and, and our families, uh, we just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for this amazing vehicle resilience. Um, I, we said it before the, the mission, and, and I'm going to say it again here afterwards. It's amazing what can be accomplished when uh, when people come together. Um, so finally, I'd just like to say, quite frankly, uh, you all are changing the world. Congratulations. It's great to be back. And Hopper, thanks so much. You've got a round of applause here in Mission Control. And uh, from all of us, it's truly been epic working with your team uh, from early development through splashdown uh, of the world's first long duration space flight, uh, human space flight. Uh, your crew is really a tribute to Resilience's name. Uh, we wish you all happy reunions with your families and loved ones. And thanks again for flying SpaceX. Thank you, Solo. Thank you all. And here is, uh, I think that's Mike Hopkins, the commander. Uh, he seems very really excited. <laughs> Feeling pretty good after six months in space. <laughs> uh, this is just excellent to see uh, the astronauts um, coming out of the Dragon vehicle. So we're just off the coast of Panama City, Florida. And the hatch has been opened. There was some materials that were removed. It looked like the seat rests were removed, or the, um, the foot rests were removed. And now we just saw um, the commander, Mike Hopkins, uh, exit the vehicle, do a little bit of a dance. <laughs> <laughs> 